For anybody that wants to start a t-shirt company today or a brand, what advice would you give them? I think it's a very poor strategy to follow and unfollow people every single day. And you think that's how you're going to build an audience on social media. And then you think those people are actually going to buy your products. It, you are wasting a lot of time and it's, and it's making yourself look silly. So I would say, do not do that. Try not to add the word clothing at the end of your name. I think it's unnecessary. We've done it once in a while. I used to do it in the beginning. Um, but it, it's just too much words, uh, keeping it short and sweet. Definitely make time to network. Like I said, don't do everything online. Uh, digi digital is great, but it, it's only the most powerful when you can marry it with real life relationships. Uh, I, I would say the biggest thing is making sure that you're doing at least 12 things that separate you from everybody else, whether it's your name, your packaging, your story, the type of events you do, the type of marketing you do. I'd say stay transparent, show your, tell your story all the time, um, have fun. I think good humor and good design are contagious. They make people excited. So you don't have to be the most serious company, um, but you have to be original because people will call you out. And, and, and with any company, you have to be original, you have to be authentic. I wrote down yes. two things uh, and I was going through your list. This is to find your story, to tell your story. And that's really important. It, what separates you from being just another fill in the blank, another t-shirt oh. company, another soda company. And to create meaningful experiences around the way that your customers interact with you. And I think you've done a, a tremendous job on that. Check this out, you guys. He's got a whole Johnny Cupcakes specially packed limited edition Chinese takeout box. And it's like fully like embracing the rickshaw kind of style typography.